at this video, we will discuss the basic parts and functions of a rice treasure and also on how to operate on it. The basic parts are First, engine. Function of engine converts the heat energy of fuel into mechanical work by burning the fuel inside the engine itself. It is the rice treasure main source of power. Drive pulley. It connects from the engine pulley and drives towards different pulley parts, known as the main pulley. Threshing cylinder. Cylinder and concave together mix the threshing unit. It separates the grain from the crops and removes grain from the straw. Pig tooth. Pig tooth are provided on the cylinder and lovers were provided on the upper periphery of the drum to convey the crops to the auto. Also, it is used for the husking and shelling of maize cubs simultaneously. Lower concave. Concave is provided in the thresher to hold the feed crop inside the threshing chamber and allows only grain and small amount of chaff to pass through. Thresher body or side cover. Cover are the main parts of a rice thresher that protects and hold every part of it. Third grain outlet. Some grain and paddy are collected and sieved against once in oscillating sieves. Second grain outlet. A collected grain will be sieved again for the last time in saving area. Main grain outlet. The main grain outlet is the outlet where fresh rice grain and will be collected as the finished product of the rice grain crops. Oscillating sieves. It performs the action of saving as well as separating straw and grain and provide clean grain without much loss and damage. Upper concave. The thresher has a concave to keep the feed crop inside the threshing chamber and only allow grain and a tiny amount of shaft to flow through. Aspirator or blower. Its function is to remove shaft and light materials without grain by using an air in an oscillating sieve. Drive belt. The drive belt is used to transfer power from the engine's flywheel. The most common types of drive belt used for power transmission, especially in thresher machine. Chop straw outlet. The outlet where chopped rice straw without grain are being thrown out. Commonly, it is being thrown out of the threshing unit by a paddle. And lastly, Feeding chute. The feeding chute acts as a table for rice straw and grain, allowing the users to stack and feed the crops to the cylinder. And now, it's time to operate. First step is to turn on the fuel in the treasure engine. Second, pull down the chalk before pulling the rope to start the engine. Third, get the harvested rice crop out of the field into the feeding chute and cut the rice tie. Feed the crop at a uniform rate. Adjust the feed rate to match the condition of the material. Maintain maximum feeding rate without overloading the engine. Step 5. The grain is collected at the first and second grain outlet and saved again in oscillating saves. Make sure there's enough airflow to get rid of the dirt and dust. Gather the grain at the main grain outlet 
where the fresh grain is being distributed and place it in a stack or bag. Repeat the process till the work is complete. Alright, that's all the basic parts and functions of a rice t-shirt. Once again, thank you for watching.